Nick's Lotus interrupting your current game of Magic to bring you the top Commanders of the Week, October 2nd, 2022. Big thanks to EDH Rec for the information. At number 5, we have Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief. Ivy is green and a blue for a 2-1 flying fairy rogue with whenever a player casts a spell that targets only a single creature other than Ivy, you may copy that spell. The copy targets Ivy. Very cool. Here are the top cards ran. And here's some of the choices you have with the deck. Seems like a lot of people are going mutate with cards like Gem Razor, Sea Dash Octopus, and Saw Tusk Demolisher, with the side of Go Tall with stuff like Rancor and Bear Umbra. Even Enchantments Matter shows up with classics like all the Enchantresses. Ranking number 276 with 1,734 decks, Ivy seems like a very fun, unique choice as a next deck to build. Number 4 this week is Miram Sentinel Worm. With 7,131 decks, ranking number 23, this commander is very popular, and it's clear to see why. Miram is 3, a green, blue, and a red for a 6-6 six, six flying Ward 2, with whenever another non-token dragon enters the battlefield under your control, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's not a legendary dragon if it was. With the inclusion of more out-of-color dragons, this commander is very fun. Here are the top cards. The dragon theme is very clear with stuff like Scourge of Valkus and Dragon Tempest being super good in the list. Clone effects also have a weird theme in here. Getting extra dragon tokens and extra copies of dragons seems very good. With any dragon list, any extra amount of mana ramp is always going to be ran. That's why Cultivate is the second most commonly ran card in this deck. Seems like a fun one. Number three this week is a classic, Lathril, your basic elf ball deck with 11,619 decks ranking number two. She is the standout elf commander to run since she came out. Two, a green and a black for a 2-3 elf noble with menace. She also has, whenever Lathril deals combat damage to a player, create that many 1-1 one -one elves. Tap Lathril and 10 untapped elves you control. Target opponent loses 10 life and you gain 10 life. Very solid. Here are the top cards ran. As I said, this has been your basic elf ball deck since it came out. You've got your elf staples like Imperius Perfect and Elvish Archdruid, but the access to black allows you to run cards like Shaman of the Pack and Elder Fang Venom as potential enders. If you like tribes and have been wanting to make elves or any kind of tribe deck, this is super solid. Number two this week is straightforward and another tribal deck. And again, dragons. The Ur Dragon will never not show up on a top commander's list. It's always in the rotation. Four colorless and all five colors for a 10-10 Eminence. As long as the Ur Dragon is in your command zone or the battlefield, dragon spells you cast cost one less to play. Super good. It also has flying, and whenever one or more dragons you control attack, draw that many cards. Card advantage in dragons. Yes, please. Then you may put a permanent from your hand onto the battlefield. Sheesh! Just extremely powerful. Here are the top cards ran. With 10,949 decks ranking number 4, the Ur Dragon is not to be messed with. A previous card on the list, Miram, goes great in this Ur Dragon list. The 5 color also gives you access to some very unique dragons like the two-headed Hellkite or board wipes like Crooks of Fate. Very high-powered commander, very good deck. And finally, number 1 this week, comment your guesses down below. The most popular commander with 2,806 decks at number 159 is... Jota the Unifier. Jota is all 5 colors for a 5-5 five five legendary creature. Legendary creatures you control get plus X plus X, where X is the number of legendary creatures you control. He's also got Cascade for legendary spells you cast. Here are the top cards ran. Jota is a Legend Ball Go Wide deck with cards like Urza's Ruinous Blast to go as wide as we need and cards like both Sisses to help us flood the board with legends. Jota can also fill the role of a toolbox deck being all five colors, running cards like Safi and Kenrith to supply what you'll need. Super good deck. I definitely see why it's the most popular this week. I'll see you guys next Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed the list. Comment down below if you're thinking about building any of these, if you enjoyed the video, and all that good stuff. Go play some Magic, guys.